Good afternoon, Mr. Hakimuddin Ali. Good afternoon. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you as our first guest on this uh, Know Your Nagpur Industries column or video column as we are going to call it. Uh, I have or Nagpur today has chosen you sir since uh, your company Calgary's has the largest presence among MNCs in Nagpur. It's the largest company in Nagpur, am I right? Yes. Anyway, yes. Uh, how many people does it employ? Headquartered in Nagpur, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, looking at your website, I see you are into a lot of sectors like refractories, furnaces, iron and steel, aluminium, petrochemicals. The gamut of your industrial products seem very long. Can you explain in layman's language which core industries you supply to? First of all, I would say in very brief, you know, wherever there is heat, there has to be refractory. So if refractory has to be used, it has it is used in most of the core industries. The one big advantage of Caldris, and this is a unique advantage that we have, is that we have a diverse presence. So we are not a very specifically one segment focused company, but uh, we, we cater to iron steel, which is primarily about 30% of our sales goes into iron steel. Cement is another 30% that goes into this. We've got petrochem, mm -hmm. we've got sponge iron, mm -hmm. we have got a large distributor sales presentation, which actually they cater to very small, small customers across wherever there are small bhattis, furnaces, there's that not, mm -hmm. is catered through a distributor channel. They do about 130 crores of sales annually. So these are some primary segments and then power sector, which is actually one of the most, uh, most and the largest emerging sector today. Mm -hmm. uh, the power and incinerator uh, segments which are happening. So these are the sectors that we are present to and uh, we supply mm -hmm. the factories. Who are uh, your customers in India? Can you name some of them? I would say we are uh, we are very fortunate that way. We have the long list of about 800 active customers in India, which covers almost every corporate in India, large and medium and small scale industries, uh, right from Tata Steel, Jindal Steel, uh, SR, Ispat, then public sector steel companies, which includes Bilai, Raurkela, and all those uh, steel plants. So that is in the iron steel segment. On Petrochem, we have got um, all IOCs and Mathura and then we have got um, Reliance, Linde and the special constituency organizations. In cement, you can obviously, ACC being our original parentage company, ACC is one of the large customers that we have, Ultratech, ACC, you name all cement uh, groups in India, which is now wholesome basically, is our customer. And then the same happens in Alumina, Vedanta and all other uh, large customers are there. So, all big names in each segment happens to be our customer okay. in a way yes why did calories choose Nagpur? this is i would say very historical so when we were acc refractories we were having our parent plant in uh, Katni, which is almost now a hundred year old plant and then obviously uh, acc thought of growing this company at that point of time and uh, they thought nagpur is a very ideal location and which is all we all know from the logistics perspective so uh, our business actually consumes lots of minerals mm -hmm. so whether it comes from mp or it comes from gujarat or it comes from uh, a bit of you know uh, western region so it comes we get processed here and then it becomes logistically efficient for us to distribute it to various customers so that is where nagpur plant was conceived and it was uh, put up here uh, during those times somewhere around 80s is that we put up this plant and uh, today i can say very confidently that it is one of the largest monolithic refractory manufacturing plants in india Coming to a personal question, where are you from? I belong to Raipur, but I have all along been, I would say, a Tata guy. I have worked in Tata Steel for about 18-20 years. So I have moved with Jamshedpur, then to Pune and then to Nagpur. Mm -hmm. So destiny has taken me to a lot of places uh, this way. There is an opinion among some business people, even today, that Nagpur does not have an industrial atmosphere. What has been your experience? Sir? Uh, I would not fully concur with this because uh, I would say it like this or rather put it up yes Nagpur is a primarily a trading hub and because of the logistics advantages in terms of manufacturing when I say industrial environment you know we should decode what industrial environment means and it actually amounts to four five things do we have adequate resources in and around Nagpur which can be con converted and tapped and this thing do we have the factor advantages like power is it is it available at economical cost do we have got good manpower and resources uh, which is skilled manpower and all which i certainly believe that nagpur has quite a good this thing is the location well connected with 
various cities of the country especially through flight network through mm -hmm. rail network this is an, uh, another thing which is i would say is a strong uh, plus for nagpur so net net we have everything to do what is required for a good industrial location mm -hmm. per se environment is created by providing the right policies and frameworks which i think uh, with the new cm uh, who's from nagpur will certainly flow in as much as yes i can say that yes in last so many years it didn't get uh, the kind of attention which was required probably because mumbai has been the major destination in india mm. and uh, so it, in maharashtra anybody had to go they would go to mumbai and then it went to nagpur uh, it to pune mm. and then you know i think i'm sure nagpur will emerge as a very big industrial manufacturing destination now mm -hmm. how is nagpur for sourcing employees that is for hiring people Uh, if you look it from the perspective of availability of manpower I, i would say it's very good because you have got one of the good uh, technical institutes vnit you have got good management institutes which can be you know imt is here raisoni is are here and there are many more uh, management uh, colleges and other things so in terms of resources certainly it exists today uh, but there is i think more which is required in terms of providing them good employment opportunities which does not exist today mm. so so availability is certainly very high uh, and especially for the it industry i would say that there are uh, now good opportunity which is coming up so they are actually looking forward mm. to this thing but this is one area where probably there is some deficit especially for the it industry the kind of uh, expertise which they require mm. uh, probably is still a bit too short so we are more uh, this region is more predominantly manufacturing oriented than you know it and uh, telecom oriented so probably there's an opportunity there mm -hmm. any plans for the city sir for is and to engineering colleges more industries i can only say on that front that uh, we are in fact uh, planning for some capital investment in our current nagpur plant as well Uh, which is going to come up very recently we are currently importing certain products uh, which is lances and all which is used in steel plants which we might be manufacturing in nagpur that's one on the recruitment front since our corporate office uh, happens to be here we have been recruiting lots of people from engineering colleges from vnit and from other colleges uh, already uh, into our company so that will continue and um, i think uh, if if the central india and the western maharashtra supports i think uh, this area from the growth perspective becomes extremely important and we are already seeing that thing because power sector the way it is growing uh, in and around nagpur and this area plus incinerator which is now the in thing from the pm modi's thing that we need to recycle our uh, municipal waste so that can be a very big uh, business domain obviously so all this actually prompts uh, us to do more development and growth in our plants here in nagpur would you advise other mnc's to come to nagpur Why not? If somebody asks for my advice, I would certainly strongly vouch for it, and there are many reasons for it. Obviously, you know, uh, and I already already know for fact that there are many many companies uh, who are based out of large metros are wanting to shift. In fact, uh, in my previous organization, also we shifted from Mumbai to Pune and things like that. And companies are looking forward to a good quality of life and good factor advantages for their employees. and simultaneously obviously uh, operating cost which which can be brought down so there are some in, some hindrances on that front especially with respect to power cost now i think if that is taken care of by the government uh, visa vis you know our neighboring state to raipur where actually the power cost is much far more cheaper i think that this will become a hot destination for people to come and uh, open their shops so it almost sounds as if you are advocating a separate state for vidarbha not really i mean i will not go into that because that is not my uh, yeah. i would certainly not say anything about that because th this is not for a businessman or industrialist to decide we can only wish for some good things to happen for a state and the development can come irrespective of uh, a state or itself okay but would you like to settle here i would say i'm already settled in a way uh, it's a wonderful city to stay Uh, and i think even from a future point of view in a from a retirement perspective as well i think it's a good place to be in you have got everything to do as i said earlier uh, in terms of good medical facilities which is required a good life uh, lots of greenery all around if you see from our office outside you know even we are sitting in the heart of the city but if you see nagpur you will see a completely different perspective of the city it's a very very green city that way